Special thanks to our promotional partners at the American Philatelic Society. The APS is the largest stamp collecting organization in the world, supporting collectors of any level worldwide. For more information about membership and APS services, visit stamps.org. I'm Charles Epting from H.R. Harmer in New York City. And I'm Michael Cortese of Noble Spirit in Pittsfield, New Hampshire. And this is Conversations with Philatelists. Before we begin, we'd like to recommend to anybody listening to this podcast uh, on a podcast service, you, you really should go check out the YouTube video. This is a very visual episode. Entirely and visual. It is entirely visual. And if you just listen to this, yeah. um, I feel like everything will be lost. So, um, you know, we, we usually encourage people to check us out on all the podcasting services. Um, for this one time, though, please go over to YouTube uh, Conversations with Flatalists and check out the video. Yeah. Yeah, because um, everything we're going to be doing is very tactile. Now, Michael, this is not the way our videos usually open. No. Uh, we are in the middle of a, of a field in Pittsfield, New Hampshire, but we're not going to be here long. We're actually headed into the building right behind the camera yeah. because there is a stamp collection yes. that was flown in, airlifted in, from... Actually, UPS ground. I UPS think. ground. Okay, but it sounds better if I say airlifted. Yeah, airlifted um, in. From uh, the middle of America, from, from literally the heartland of America. Yes. This is material, some of which is H.R. Harmer auction, yeah. auctionable stuff. Yep. Yeah. Some of this is Noble Spirit, eBayable stuff. You know, not that the the quality is better or worse, but just the market is different. Yeah. There are certain things you've been absolutely doing amazing with. I look at your realizations and it blows me away. And there's things that we just sold in our April sale that I was really impressed with how yeah. that side of the market's doing. So um, we've got this collection right inside the building. Again. 50 cartons. 50 cartons right on the other side of the camera. Mostly yeah. albums, Scottish National Albums, loose first day covers, we yeah. think. We don't really know. Um, what do you say we head inside and uh, check out this collection? Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's go do it. All right. Michael, here yeah. we are. We've got what, 45, 50 boxes here. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited to dig into these, but I feel like we should tell people um, what we know about this without yeah. having gone through any of it, um, what we're looking for, how we decide... Um, what stays with Noble Spirit? What comes to HR Harmer? What, yeah. what 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 do you know about what was uh, what was shipped here? So yeah, the, uh, I know that there's a lot of Scott Specialized albums, or and a lot of first day covers. So uh, Scott International, not just the Specialized. There's going to be International. There's going to be first day covers. So there's there's going to be a lot of items that allegedly. Because we haven't opened any allegedly. boxes yet, allegedly are complete runs of specialized albums starting from you know number early one stuff. on early stuff on that could be great for HR Harmer. And then there's stuff kind of I was gonna say first day covers. I think that market's stronger on eBay than auction to be honest. Yeah. Um, so so things like that. Um, you know, more modern material. Maybe if there's mint sheets of modern material, yeah. first day covers, that sort of thing. I think will stay here in New Hampshire. And uh, yeah, hopefully there's some nice specialized albums that can uh, come back to New York. With me. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look. You this, so this box, this box here is Mars. What does this say? New York. Uh, New York. It says U.S. US album, and then that's crossed out. Yeah. So, so it may or may not be. We don't really album. know. Um, um, this is our first unboxing. It video, is though. our first. I've unboxing watched video. a lot of unboxing yeah. videos. So, not of stamps. Um, so we do know that there's supposed to be at least one good U.S. album in this. Collection. There's supposed to be a set of Zep somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. What do you say? No. Yeah. I mean. Okay, so right off the bat, it's not US. US. Well, it kind of is US. Well, AMG yep. is semi US. It's uh, US uh, adjacent. And uh, look at that. It's um, partially filled. This one will to find it. Partially <laughs> empty. <laughs> uh, album half full or half empty? Is that yeah. more? That's this more, more uh, AMG, Allied Military Government, for yeah. people who uh, don't know. Um, so this one is more. Filled. We got more of filled. Over, uh, actually, this one looks kind of complete. Would you say there's a lot of over? Because it's mostly. Well, most of AMG stamps. Yeah, I don't know. Most I know. Let's put uh, does, it have, does it have the parcel posts? Postal stationery. Uh, no, it uh, doesn't look like it. So, these are always popular, though. The AMG. Uh, the Wolves. The Wolves. The wolves. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice AMG collection. This is a, uh, uh, a field that I feel like used to be, uh, very popular. Now yeah. it's sort of waned in popularity yeah. a bit, but, um, so it's not, not a bad way to start. You're, we're looking at this for your September or your November auction? Probably going to be November, our okay. next auction. So do you know what that auction has? It's a good question. 
it's one of those things where we don't really know what's going to be in an auction okay. until we get closer. Okay. So, um, so it's really, really any, any kind of right. Okay. Um, it's one of those initial things. Question would be: Is there other AMG? We have a Does really good. We have a really good AMG collection that's like basically complete. Okay. Um, that will be in this set, so that could this could be. be this could be a good compliment. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We haven't had a, a good AMG collection in a while, so yeah. this would um, this would be nice. What have we got here? This one's called Info. Anything could be in there. More AMG. More AMG. Yeah. I think we're seeing a. I think I think this whole box yeah. might we're be AMG. We're seeing a theme here. Um, well, let's see. Oh, these are actually these are Davo albums. Yeah. You pronounce it Davo? Davo. I, I say Davo. I I'm. We will find out. I know our listeners love when we <laughs> discuss the pronunciation of words. Uh, hey, there's a penny black. Yeah. What in the? Don't shrug your shoulders. It's a penny black. Okay. Michael. From from back here, it, it's got one of the red Maltese crosses. It has a red Maltese it. cross. It's, it's very heavy, so I thought it was a penny red initially. No, no, no. It's uh, it, it's got. Yeah. No. It's got, it's got two full margins. Hey. Okay. Well, I mean, he's in poor condition, but that still catalogs five hundred, right? Uh, it's a penny worth one. <laughs> I think that's one of the earlier issues. I don't think there's gonna be. Maybe Claire can cut this. Oh, up. I mean, no, I mean, that's. These, there's some nice, nice print in here. Yeah. Okay, so these are the later ones. They right, but that one as much, but that's the, the, the ten shilling is always. Yeah. Pretty desirable. <laughs> yeah, I'll take this out. You want to take it? Cool? Yeah, of course. I feel bad. No, it's, <laughs> it's all. That's the point, is you come here and you. What's the rest of it look like? Oh, that's a collection, though. Oh, there's some. Offices in China. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. And then, wait, wait, wait. some super Wait, you gonna say Tet Bachino? Yeah. What is it? No. <laughs> no, this is a good collection. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. Where are the seahorses? Um, it was just the ten shilling. No, no, no. no. There's oh, some seahorses. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So this so, collection will go to Star Trek. This is headed to New York City, I think. Yeah. There's a collection like this. It's, it's great because there's enough stamps to pull out. Um, there's enough left to leave the you know the, the balance collection intact. There's enough that people will want there um, to offer that as a lot as well. So I, I think a collection like this would um, would do really well at, at Harbors. This is what I'm yeah. excited to take back to New York. Yeah. Great. Um, um, should we start like a pile? We should we put it in the back of the box. No, why don't we? Yeah. Perfect. Michael, what should we grab next? I'm thinking. Um, um, uh, what do you pick? Um, why don't we do international New York albums? International albums and why? Yeah. All right, let's give it a shot. Under one here. Well, you're gonna open this one. All right. That's casual that cutting. Look at that nonchalant. Oh yeah. There you go. Hey. Look um, uh, so for, for people who can't see, this is a, a Scott International uh, yeah. Part One, Two, Three. And then volume one, two. one and two, yeah. uh, that goes from Abyssinia to the Cook Islands and Korea, Korea to Georgia. Georgia. So I don't know if so this is going to be two like collections, in, maybe? Yeah, this could be like 1840 and then we stop at 1960 right. here. I'm going to take out part two. Okay, I'll look at volume one. So that looks like an actual this part two. Like part two, 1941 like to 55? Or 50. Looks like... Uh, Cuts off in the mid 40s, 45, uh, 49. It looks like. Okay, nice. so that's a that's a part two. That's a good one. <laughs> All right, so no early dragons or anything like that. So in these albums, I usually, in part ones, I usually hit what uh, three countries: what Canada, do you Canada, China, and um, Belgium. Interesting. I have my own countries that I use. What do you use? Um, good looking goodness. Good looking goodness. But the early Canada. So volume two, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna check out France. That's one of my go-to's. Yeah. This is a medium value album. There's no individual items other than that blue nose. Uh, I'd probably leave the blue nose in a collection. You'd leave this. I would leave the blue nose. I would leave it in to sell the rest of the collection. I know the catalog value on them has come down quite a bit in the last few years. You have to leave something in the collection to entice I Yeah, I guess so. I'm going to take another look at it. Um, 
Oh, you know what? I'm going to amend my initial statement. It looks like a faded that's used. cancel there. That is used. Yep. You leave it in the collection now? Leave it in the collection, yeah. It's not well centered either. And actually, in the corner, you can see there's a bit of a cancel as well. Wait, what's interesting is that, I mean, the, the $1 hat smart. But the blue nose is considered to be the most beautiful stamp in all. Of yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, again, I think this is um, this is perfect for for eBay. Yeah. I don't know. All right, I think we're done with this box. All right, two boxes down. Yeah. Uh, Let's do it, man. You want me to open this one? Yes. Yeah, all right, be good. You know what I'm looking forward to? What's that? To see how this one is cut. This is episode. Are you seeing that on camera? <laughs> you want to include that in the episode? <laughs> it breaks the fourth wall. Does that feel? That feels. That it feels forced. It yeah. feels forced. Canada. Canada. Interesting. This is part two. The country so... to the north of the United States. Huh. Part two. So this is mostly Canada postage. That looks like another blue nose. That is another blue nose. Another blue nose. That one it's actually a, has the same centering as the other one. Same centering, but, uh, it's, but it's a nice I don't know looking if you new set. This one actually is a full set. So this is a. That's got a lot of full sets. This is a. Uh, oh, look, the. Um, how do you pronounce that? Tencentenary? I believe so. Yeah. I, I, I try not to say words that I can't pronounce. Them. Okay. Tencentenary. I say three centenary. Well, the 20 cent is more. Right, I'm saying those that? those ones look are mint. Yes. Right, and then you get a couple of used values. Yeah. So that would, regardless of whether or not that's eBay or HR Harbor, I believe that set would do better in the album. Correct. Because when it's a mixed set, it's a mixed with, set. with uh, uh, questionable centering. Yeah. Um, it's, it's always going to do better in the actual album than rather. Because I feel like there's very few people who collect mixed, mint, and used sets. Correct. They, I always find that they do. Uh, much worse. I, I would agree. Yeah. We, so I mean, we sometimes we sell that. mixed, mint and used sets for less than the actual full used set. Because it's got that one or two mint stamps in there. What's those pages? 15 cents? That, that's mint. Jubilee, um, yeah. yeah. It's not a bad stamp. It's not a bad album. Not bad at all. We've, so uh, that one's probably going to New York. I was going to say, we've done, uh, better with Canada than, than, uh, and we had been for a couple of years. The market seems to have rebounded a bit, so I, uh, I definitely think this album can make its way back to New York City. Yeah, that looks like a good album. Let's yeah. nice album. Back it up. Yeah. So this is volume two. Do you want to take that with you also? Let's take a look. Is there any back of book? Great question. Let's start at the back of the book. Yeah, we'll just that's just all modern. And you know what? I think I think that's got eBay's name on it. Yeah. I think that's a noble strip. Right. South Africa. Okay. See what era we're talking here. Looks like it's uh, looks like it's modern South Africa, uh, yeah, post 1960s. So we'll uh, probably keep that one here. Hand that over to Noble Spirit. Yeah, definitely. So we've got two more albums in here. I'll take one. You take the other. No idea what they are. South Africa again. Iceland. Iceland. Um, um, so, so, so the invoice is still in this Iceland album. Yeah. And the uh, 1930 uh, Parliament set, he spent $240. Hmm. Let's take a look at it. Yeah. $240 21 years ago? Yeah. That's probably a single lot today still. Yes. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a nice looking set. Very fresh. Yeah. It's, uh, it's always a popular one. Very attractive designs. I think that's... Yeah. Uh, I think that's certainly... Uh, uh, a nice item for auction. Absolutely. Where's the U.S.? Yeah, we gotta find the U.S. Um, you wanna do a uh, specialty album? So, right, let's take a look at these. Yeah, British North America, Ecuador, France, unlabeled. That's exciting. So, I'm gonna take a look at France. Another Canadian collection. There's a whole box over there, ladies, Canada. Yeah, this is, um, this is a good beginner collection. I think somebody on eBay would like yeah. this, um, Oh, that's pretty good. That's uh. Hey, there's the five franc. It's missing. It's missing a corner. Big part of the stamp, but yeah. most of a five franc stamp. Yeah. I have a feeling this is actually going to be pretty decent. Price. It looks like a pretty good price collection. I'm not yeah. going to. Uh... 
I thought it pecks and shape. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's totally um, damaged, but... It's it's kind of folded over, too. Yeah. But you know what? Even a bad pecks and shape, somebody's going to want it. The stamps look okay. They do. Yeah, oops. They did. They did? Yeah, they still look okay. Not a bad French collection at yeah, all. It, it's really not. It's got some of the semi-postals. It's got a... Uh, yeah. Pretty nice looking. Pretty oh, nice. do you see that overprint? It's a pretty nice one. Yeah, I thought it was a different stamp. Yeah, I think. Yeah, so this is... So, will you... Will I this will do well? This. I, I think this will do well. I think there's enough uh, enough classic brands here to, uh, to like. Yeah. Uh, most of the stamps are complete. <laughs> That's the, that's the bar for HR Harmer. We need most of the stamps. Uh, what's this one? Chad. Cameroons. This is Africa. French Africa. Yeah, French like. Africa. It's a nice looking French African collection. Actually, yeah. I'm uh, I'm liking this one. Yeah. I'm liking it, even though we've only seen a, a fraction of it. We just sold a, a really nice French African collection in our last sale. Oh, yeah? Pretty good market these days. Um, I think this will uh, do well. I like the souvenir sheets on. Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a great album. I'll take it. Yep. Perfect. We say we look at Ecuador. I just wrote an article about Ecuador. That Did you just, really? It is yet to be published, but okay. uh, I think... Where is it going to be published? It's going to be in Lynn's oh. So, uh, keep that up to that. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at this. A lot of stamps. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going on here, but... That's some of the early issues. And jumps all around, it looks like. Yeah. And now it'll get into the... Now it'll get into... These these surcharges are, uh, are are tough. All these overprints are, are not easy. Yeah. Um, especially used. A lot of these things yeah. are just impossible. Used. Um, not, a, not a bad looking collection at no, all. No, not at this all. Is, this is uh, quite quite clean and, and quite nice for the, for the country, I would say, so... Um, what do you, 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 you could use this, right? I think it's what you all need. It. Okay. I, I, I mean, it, I, it, it would be perfect it, for us. It, I think something like this would probably make three, four hundred dollars. It's got a lot of the, uh, you know, a lot of the more modern issues and yeah. complete sets, which people want. Um, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to be honest. I think um, if I saw the same thing. No, perfect, perfect. Yeah, that looks good. I think this, yeah. uh, something like this, would do really well. Yes. Yeah. All right, is this um, is this maybe another part of the French Africa? Could be the second. Called it, called it, the second part. Yeah. So I really like the the French Antarctic territories. They're gorgeous. Yeah. We um. Right after. Right here. These two, yeah. These do very well. Yeah. All right, what's up next, Michael? Um, close your eyes and point at one. We need a more targeted approach than that. Uh, what about Albums New York? Five by seven sales books. Okay. Albums New York. We're on different pages. <laughs> this says Albums New York. So does this one. We're on different pages. Uh, we're going to do something we've never done before here at Conversations with Flatalists and go through two boxes at the same time. Michael's jokes are so much funnier on paper. I actually didn't write that one down first. Okay. Alright, let's, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Off to the side. Okay. Michael, Italy, 1850 to 1976. How do you fit that many years into one album? Uh, let's see. Like this. Like, let's see. Uh, more, more AMG. AMG. Let's take a look at it, alright? Alright. What do we got? Looks like... No Italian states. Okay. Fair. It's okay. And... Ionian Islands, and uh, Italian post offices in Turkey. Let's see if there's any actual Italy. Here there is. Mm -hmm. um, those sets do well. Yeah, some early sets. Uh, with Italy, you've got to be really careful of uh, cancellations on yeah. stamps of the 20s, 30s, 40s, especially the high values. Um, so many of the cancellations are forged because Italy is one of these weird countries where the used stamps are more valuable than the mint stamps. Right. Again, for the high values of these commemorative sets. So 
Um, if somebody uh, nefarious got the cancellation device, they could make used stamps that, again, right. were more valuable. they go by the mint stamp and, and make them used. So um, you have to be really careful, uh, everyone watching, with, with used Italian stamps of the uh, 20s, 30s, 40s, that whole period. When they issued some beautiful sets that were um, just massive, too, stretched out over regular issues, yeah. airmail, special delivery, airmail, special delivery, um, all sorts of, yeah, you of get, great you stuff. You get whiplash trying to catalog these things. You've got to go back and forth. Exactly. And forth yeah, the Scott, when it has a complete set, it'll say, yeah. you know, the numbers, and the, yeah, the, the, the C, C number, the C, C number, C, yeah. E, everything. So, um, <clears throat> it's a, it's a, a solid-looking Italian collection. Yeah. Um, you know, the, uh, the Italian market uh, is not the strongest. I, I would say this is even personally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I think this, there's enough nice stuff here. Um, it's a pretty covers. pretty complete collection. If somebody wants to start Italy, this yeah. is perfect. You know, yeah. you start with with the bulk of the more modern stuff, then you work your way backwards. Um, yeah. I think you feel in the Italian states. It's tough, but doable. Yeah. Um, perfect for you. I think we're really excited for this next one. This next one looks. It just says USA one, which um, which has potential. I yes. Think, uh, I think this could be really good. Let's. Looks like. A, uh, you want to do the honors? You want to start with page one? Or so page one. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So did you? This is an excellent callback to the episode that we had just done. Did you bring with you the uh, Classic Society did. book where we could actually find out what printing do you have uh, Actually, I mean, that'd be kind of cool, huh? Michael, what would you say? I think that looks like a, uh, a pretty worn impression. Uh, it doesn't have any of the fine detail in the, uh, in the background lines. I think that's a, a, a worn plate impression. I would call that a red brown worn plate. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's probably enough for the page one. So, would you send any of these out for certificates, any of the grills or anything like that? This, do you think this is the kind of album that you'd offer in time? Something like this, the, the centering is um, uh, a little bit... Uh, yeah, it's not the best. A little to be desired. It leaves yeah. a little bit to be desired. Um, I think in a collection like this, you, you tend to leave intact, yeah. uh, would be my gut feeling. Um, obviously, you know, looking at everything closely once back in the office yeah. will um, give you a better sense of of that, but... Um, no, it's, a, it's a, again, yeah, large, friendly, uh, cut plate proof, probably. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely a plate proof. Yeah. So no, there's a lot to like here. Again, maybe not um, top quality. Yeah. But it certainly makes up for it in completeness. I would say. Yeah. Um, you want to see how the Colombians are? Yeah. One dollar. Okay. One dollar. Uh, plus That's a couple good. of cut squares instead of the real valuable ones. So, you know, some Pan Ams. I, I, I think he inverted the damage stamps. A lot of people do that. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, that, but a that lot is of a common, a common uh, yeah. method of showing what needs to be upgraded. Yeah. Some people will do it with um, hinge stamps as well. If they only collect really? hinge, they'll put the hinge stamps in upside down to remind themselves. Um, so, All right. some, uh, some Washington Franklins. Let's, uh, let's do a flip like this. White Plains, Kansas, Nebraska. White Plains sheet looks, uh, it's, it's, it's been cut down. It's not been up. Okay. It's got the guideline, so maybe it's okay. I don't know. Uh, yeah, White Plains, Kansas, Nebraska. Um, not a bad little U.S. question. Yeah, and I think this is going to an H.R. Harmer auction near you. Uh, I think this is, um, this is supposed to be the album with the Zeppelins. Uh, C10. There you go. All right, Michael. You always got to jump to the back of the book. Yep. Looks like this album runs through 1972. What have we got here? Yes, you went through six. So we went got a through C10A. Six. C10A book with pain. And then and look at that Zeppelins. Look at that, Michael. C13, 14, and 15, more commonly known as the Zeps. Yep. It's a nice looking set of stamps. Yeah. I think there's anything else in the back of the uh, book? Let's take a look. Let's take a look.
I always like looking at the special deliveries. Yeah. Well, well, maybe some other time. The best laid plans <laughs> of bison men. What the world is that doing there? In the 1969 special delivery slot. It's half a duck stamp. I had some postage dues. That parcel post almost complete. Pony Express reprints. Looks good. So, do you think? So, the, the, this is the this is one of the albums that, that when the consigner shipped the material here, this that is first one told you, us about exactly. And you know, what, any collection that has a white plane souvenir sheet, a set yeah. of zeps, things like that, these are the uh, you know the the sort of the, the items that make or break on a real collector. Anybody yeah. who has a set of zeps in their collection is, is taking it fairly seriously. Yeah. Um, so, I, I'm excited to see how this does at auction. You know, we, the zeps, whether we pull them out or, or keep them in the collection. Depends on their hinging and their centering and yeah. things like that, but at the very least, there's some uh, there's some real money here. Yeah, no, it's a guys, it's a it's a nice little album. Absolutely, I'm excited to uh, bring it back to New York. Perfect. Um, do, you, do you want these items? Yeah, heads? yeah. So, how's this collection? Yeah, I mean it's 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 decent. I mean, I oh, that smiling boy. I saw a smiling boy. Smiling boy. I don't think I know that one. Smiling boy. Oh, okay, but those don't catalog very high. Do they? They're like 150 bucks. They're so popular. Okay. Everyone loves Smiling Boy. Okay. Uh, if they're NH, they're great. If they're hinged, they're still very popular. Every, okay. Everyone loves the Smiling Boy. Okay. Uh, it's the first of that uh, series of stamps. That, that the Health is, Series? The Health Series, exactly. So it's, it's a perennial, perennially popular stamp. Okay. It's uh, so hot I can't speak anymore. The album and the temperature. Yes, this album is just... So, do you... Was this... This is a harm one. Okay. Is that okay? Of course. Right. I'll give you the... Bolivia, man. So it looks like there's nothing in there. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What you do well with this stuff, man? Oh, it'll do great on eBay. Michael, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, I, uh, I've been looking forward to coming up here so much. And the yeah. fact that we had this excuse, this this collection, to dig through some boxes, yeah. see what's an HR Harmon lot, see what's a Noble Spirit lot. Uh, what a great opportunity to uh, to drive up to, to New Hampshire. This is the first time we've actually gotten to go through collections together, so... No, it's a good, yeah, it's a good was, excuse to hit the road for was, a couple of days. And I think a collection full of albums is a great starting point. You know, everybody yes. likes albums, everybody likes clean material, but going through a collection worth of, uh, of albums... This is indicative of a what, lot of what we get, too. Like, yeah. as much as we love to talk about the individual stamps and this yeah. cover's going to sell for $20,000, the reality is most of what we look at is bankers' boxes full of albums, some yeah. of which are good, some of which are bad, and I think this is a good, um, you know, middle-of-the-road collection. I hope to do more of these kind of things where, you know, half the collection's going to you, half the collection's going to us, and, and we just decide when we see the collection how to break it Yeah, down. it's this fun blending of, like, yeah. friendship and podcasting and, in, you know, our industries. Yeah. I, I think it's a lot of fun, and I think we're going to do a lot more of these in-person things in the yeah. coming months. We've got stamp shows to go to, we've got, uh, you know, places and people to visit that we've, you know, who we've spoken to, so yeah. uh, I think it'll be fun to do, to do more like this and, uh, it's so great to not be on um, opposite sides of the screen for once. It's, I know. <laughs> it, 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 it does feel uh, surreal that uh, you know we're looking at the same collection instead of texting each other uh, pictures of it. So no, this was this was a lot of fun, and uh, I'm I'm looking forward to doing it again real soon. You know what I'm looking forward to seeing these items in your catalog. We should do a follow up maybe where it's like once you sold some stuff on eBay, we sold yeah. some stuff at auction. Like hey, circle back around. What did that set of Zeps bring? What did the yeah. album of Bolivia that you took uh, yeah. bring? I, I think we should. Um, let people know, well, you know what came yeah, up yeah, today. I mean, I'm interested 
to see the entire U.S. album and the entire Great Britain album. Yeah. With those brand. Uh, Absolutely. Um, this was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, we made it through most of the collection. We've still yeah. got a bit more uh, cleanup to do, a few more uh, boxes to go through. But um, more than anything, what do you say we go hit trivia tonight? Yeah. Doesn't that sound great? All right.